This is a very simple tab inside the Preferences panel. Here you change the manner in which Photoshop presents transparency information and gamut warnings. There are one or two ways to get to the Transparency and Gamut tab in the Preferences menu. Either hit Ctrl or Command K, which brings the menu right up, and then select the Transparency and Gamut tab, or in the Mac, go into the Photoshop menu and select Preferences. You can go right down to Transparency and Gamut. On a PC, that menu, as we talked about before, is going to be in the Edit menu near the Keyboard Shortcuts and Menus. So let's bring that up and take a look. As you can see, it's a very simple menu. The first thing we have are the transparency settings, and uh, in the background here, you can see I have a transparent image, so we can take a look at it. This checkerboard shows you that there's nothing here on your image. If we were to save this as a PNG or anything that has alpha settings, it would save blank. So let me hit OK here, brush, new layer, and I can draw in here, and now you can see that everywhere that I have drawn with a brush, not transparent, anything behind it, that's transparent. So if I were to turn on the layer that's underneath my fabulous drawing here, you can see that everywhere that was below this drawing and showed up as a checkerboard is now replaced by the image once I've turned it on. So let me shut these off real quick, go back to our menu. So all this does is allow us to change the grid settings. Here we can change the different colors to whatever we want. Uh, grid size, large, small. We can also shut it off entirely, uh, which just gives a white background. I don't recommend this because if you have transparency anywhere, you definitely want to see what part is transparent. It gives us different options to change the grid colors here. I just like to leave it at the default, which is the light gray and white checkerboard. And the last option here is the gamut warning. We'll talk about gamut in another video, but for right now know that gamut warning shows you what colors are too bright on an image that you're working on for when you're going to print it. So essentially these colors are going to change when your image is printed. Usually this is only going to appear in the RGB color mode. Um, let's take a look. Right now it's just set to a gray. Again, here you can set it to any color you want and you can change the opacity of it. Uh, sometimes I like to set the opacity down to about 50 so that I can see what color is underneath, but for the purposes of what we're going to do right now, leave it at 100. All right, let's bring the image back up. And we've got a nice bright image here. We have some, some pretty bright purples in here. Uh, gets to be, uh, that's probably our, our, our highest brightness. Uh, I'm going to turn on the gamut warning up here in the view menu. Now you can see that everywhere that was a bright purple is gray. And we even have a bunch of gray here in the sky. These are all the areas of your image that are going to change when we switch it to the CMYK color mode. Uh, let me do that right now with the gamut warning still on. And... Um, doesn't matter. Don't merge for right now. Okay. All of that gamut warning has gone away. And the purple here in the flowers is noticeably... Uh, less saturated. It's noticeably dimmer, not as bright. So if we undo that, you can see the difference when I switch back and forth between the CMYK version and the RGB version. The purples here in the RGB version are extremely bright, and we switch it back to the CMYK. This is closer to what's going to be actually printed out if you were to print this image out. Same thing up here on the top right hand side in the blue. Just watch as I switch back and forth. It's a subtle difference, but you can see the brightness definitely changes. Well, that's all for the Transparency and Gamut tab. If you have any questions, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.